Hello and welcome to another Jody Giant page. I'm sorry it's been a little bit of a while since my last update. Um, I've had a lot going on. Uh, disaster struck down at the allotment. Um, I was really busy and with all the rain we had, the polytunnel cover was slightly loose, the old wrecked polytunnel cover, which should have been replaced. It was slightly loose, had a bag in it, it filled up with rain uh, over the course of two days and my polytunnels collapsed. I put a couple of pictures on at the end of this video for you to have a look at that. All the frames collapsed. Um, it's not fit for purpose, that polytunnel. I don't know why I bought it. I haven't even managed to get two months out of it, never mind two seasons or even a season. Um, a complete waste of money. I got it from a company called Dan Cover. Um, I've sent them numerous emails stating that it's not fit for purpose, the structure is unsound. Um, it, it, it's basically just garbage and they still haven't gotten back to us. So, um, I highly recommend staying away from a company called Dan Cover uh, for polytunnels because it's absolutely garbage. I'm un extremely unhappy about it. So we'll see what they do about it. I'm going to send them another email today, um, stating that's the last email, and I I'm going to try and do something else about it. I suppose. Um, I'll show you what's going on in the shop. I've got loads going on. Um, the tomatoes are flying now. I've got to have a few a few bits and bobs what I've changed. Um, I'll start with. I start with my Wilma system. I've got, I've got this fan on. Two seconds. I'll just turn it off so you can hear us. It's not as loud. Um, yeah, I've got this Wilma system cracking on. I had another leak in here, um, and it decided to just go a bit wonky, funny. So I pulled it out, and I've got two chilies in here, which I'm growing for show. Sure. These are um, Longhorn Mountain Mountain Longhorn chilies. They're supposed to grow really long and spindly i'll um i'll stick a couple of pictures on at the end but to show you what those chilies are supposed to end up like so i'll put two in there in this big 28 litre pot it should be sufficient um under the gavita light as you can see the leaks are really starting to fly now they're starting to get good girth on them especially the two at the back and um, this one is a bit longer i think another flag's burst on it yeah another flag's gone so i'll be stripping that off soon as you can see i've had a lot of thrip damage and I was using killer my foot to get rid of the thrip and it just didn't seem to be shifting them at all not not one single bit and um, which I'm extremely surprised at but I've been using um I don't know if you can see it there this shield plant wash um which I've been spraying on every other day or every two or three days sorry and I had a check this morning I've been using that for about a week and I had a check this morning and I can't see any thrip at all. Don't know if that's one. No, it's a bit of dust. I can't see any thrip at all now. So hopefully, hopefully it's looking like that um that shield plant wash has getting rid of the thrip. Which I'm over the moon at because I've really struggled. Uh, really struggled to shift those thrip little gits. Um I've got a lot of dahlia plants in the shop that are ready to go out as you can see there's some new varieties here which I'm looking forward to having to go at they're um, just some bookshe giant carrots and uh, parsnips I'm going to stick in my little shack they should have went out a while ago but yeah I've got plenty of uh, dahlias they'll be going down to the allotment uh, the giant tomatoes as you can see they've absolutely bolted since the last time I, um, I did a video and I've just changed the nutrient solution in it to the canna. I was using canna vega, um, but now I'm using canna flores because I'm starting to get, if you can see, I'm starting to get big flower sites on now. That looks like the start of a mega bloom. And if you don't know what a mega bloom is, I look like I'm getting one here as well. Um, Basically, a mega bloom is a cluster of a lot of um, tomato flowers. It's more than one, it's more than two. It's generally three or four flowers all fused together, and it gives you a big, ugly, horrible flower. And from that big, ugly, horrible flower grows your huge, giant tomato, hopefully. Um, I've got them supported. I probably need some other supports, but I've got them supported, the hard to see, by this yo-yo um, I've just got them hooked on there it's really hard to see the 
I think you can see the cable here. I've got all of them uh, supported by yo-yos at the moment. Uh, they seem to be doing the trick. I've got them hooked around. If you can see there, I've got them hooked around there. So hopefully they'll do the trick. I might need to add a couple more yo-yos shortly for the... Uh, give them a bit more support as they're getting bigger the chilies I got off chili Bob they are absolutely flying along the happiest Larry down there beautiful green chilies I'll take it out and I'll show you oh. there's it there you can see it beautiful vibrant green chili this is the dragon's breath um, as I informed you on my last video about the dragon's breath chili it hasn't yet been registered as a world record with it being 2.4 million scoville so it isn't a world hottest chili at the moment um, they need more testing to go on with it there was a big hoo-ha it was launched early by someone who had no right to do it um, plants were taken away from someone's stand at Chelsea Flower Show I don't know the ins and outs of it. There's a lot more politics involved. Um, it's pretty crazy to be honest. And I've seen a lot of stuff on all the sites there, chili sites and stuff like that, and everyone having a go at each other. And it, beyond, to be honest, it's getting quite. It's got beyond ridiculous now. Um, people need to start having a bit of respect for each other instead of slating each other and copying messages and posting them and stuff. Have a bit of respect and. If someone says something to you in confidence, don't blab your mouth and tell everyone because where I'm from, that's called being a grass. And uh, no one likes grasses, if I'm being honest. So if someone writes something to you as a personal message, don't screenshot it and put it on groups so everyone else can see. And it's just out of order, basically. So that's my opinion on that anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with the chilli. It's, it's got its feet in, as you can see. It's beautiful. Beautiful green leaves, really flying along, healthy. I've got it in an air pot, 3 litre air pot, with a good quality compost. I've been giving it water and I've been giving it uh, some nano. Of course, everyone loves the nano. Me giant carrots. Giant carrots, it's weird. In, this, in these two pots, underneath the Gavita light, these two giant carrots are... This one looks like it's split already. But these two giant carrots are ticking along nicely. They're throwing out some foliage, but not massive amounts. Whereas the two giant carrots I've got in here underneath the Spectrum King light, they are hurtling along with the foliage. But they're not the foliage isn't growing really long. But it's thrown out so much foliage. I think that one's split as well. It's thrown out so much foliage, it's unbelievable. Um, the giant onion. This one's the only, only decent one I've got left. It's starting to fill out now. It's looking alright still. I've let it overgrow sort of thing. Just do its own thing. It's still stand up right. I've got it propped up. This one. I pulled it apart before. As you can see, the, it's split like the others I've got at the door. Um, I'm getting a load of chilies as well. I've got from a guy called... Um, Dan, oh, you know what it is, I'll put a link on at the end, I'm forgetting uh, the link for Dan, he sent me tons of chilies, he's a grower, um, we were, me and another friend of mine, we were let down by someone who was supposed to send me a load of chilies, because um, I wanted to do a display with them in the shop, and unfortunately after, uh, basically I was promised them, uh, I was willing to pay for them, everything like that, we were relying on them to come, the chilli plants, and they didn't turn up. So we were saved by an absolute gentleman called Dan. I'll put a, um, a link on for you for to show where we got um, the stuff from. In fact, I think I've got a thank you note from him. Um, he sent us tons of chilies, man. I mean, I paid for them, but it was just, you know, he went above and beyond. If I can find it. Uh, there it is. Um, I'll, it's called Hi guys, hope these are okay for you, cheers Dan I mean he went above and beyond for us From Chilies of the Valley, there's his details Dan at chiliesofthevalley.co.uk And www.chiliesofthevalley.co.uk And that's his number 
Um, he sells all sorts of fantastic chili sauces and stuff like that. I think that's what he mainly focuses on. Um, I, I'm not sure if he sells seeds or plants, but he was uh, very gracious enough to give uh, us some. So I'm over the moon. I'm getting tons of different varieties. I've got them all in little one litre pots at the minute propped all over the place trying to find room for them till I can get stuff sorted out but yeah thank you very much Dan I, uh, I can't thank you enough you've been a lifesaver we didn't think we were going to uh, grow any chilies this season um, we were going to plant some seeds chili seeds we got and we were advised not to plant any seeds because they would be sending us plenty of plants and they just didn't turn up so we thought that was the end of that but no Dan pulled us out the shit um, and we really appreciate it uh, my giant cucumbers, I've got I've got them in here. These are all ready to go out now, uh, to be uh, potted up into some big air pots and put them into polytunnel, which is completely knackered. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to take them home and put them in my greenhouse and try and maximise what I get out my greenhouse. I was wanting to grow four, but I'm I'm going to be stuck for room. I've got lots going on, so uh, I'm disappointed at the greenhouse. If you couldn't already tell. Yeah, the polytunnel, sorry, if you couldn't already tell, but that's just one of them things, isn't it? Me little cherry tomato. Um, it was getting a bit big for its boots. It was touching the top, so I've chopped the top of the plant off. And I've rooted it back into the bottom next to the other. And I've been feeding it, and hopefully that'll grow bushy, and I'll get some little cherry tomatoes on there. It was growing a bit berserk. My old uh, onions, these were going colossal. They're going absolutely massive, as you can see. Um, but again, they split in two, and I, I think it's purely because I let them dry out early on. It's, it can't be anything else. I, I knew when they were small um, that they were dry, so it's my fault, completely my fault. That's just about it. Um, oh yeah, I'll show you my lemon tree. I've got some beautiful flowers on my lemon tree. Um, it's sprung into life. I'll show you them now. As you can see, you've got some lovely flowers. They smell really lovely as well. Don't focus in, yeah. And I've got all this new growth. All this down here, I've been pegging it back. But yeah, I've got tons of buds on. And hopefully I'll be able to grow some lemons in the shop under this T5 light. So I'm happy with that. I thought it was a... Uh, I thought I was going to have to sling it. But yeah, there's lots going on. Um, the leaks down in the allotment in the trench I built the new trench aren't doing very good. I think um, the new compost or soil, sorry, the top soil I put in wasn't a, the best of quality as I was promised it was. So I'm going to have to start feeding them down there. They just haven't got their feet in. They're not interested. Um, I've got about half a dozen or eight leaks in another trench which I used last year which are hurtling along now so I'm over the moon with them I can't complain with that my onions are starting to take over nicely I've got three marrows out and I've got two pumpkins out as well all my cabbages are cracking on I'll do a video down there and I'll show you what's happening down there because I'm uh, I need to show you the polytunnel just keep away from Dan cover basically but yeah I'm happy with everything what's going on these two leaks at the back are hurtling along I'm really happy with them and I'm hoping that god I've getting rid of the uh, the thrip but yeah these products seem to have worked the shield uh, plant wash seem to have worked and I did have a massive problem with fungus gnats but I've been using this neem oil these neem oil blocks and I was putting the neem oil on the top and there's nowhere near nowhere near the amount of fungus gnats there was so I'm happy with that that seems to work as well um, I can't speak highly enough of that plant wash from what I've seen so far it's only been a week and the thrips seem to have gone and that's after using Kilomite which is 70 quid a bottle so I don't understand how the Kilomite hasn't worked to be honest it did last season so I don't know anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you again on the next one look at that, that's going to be a mega bloom see you again on the next one